Want to have some fun? In our new video, we've prepared a collection of awesome tricks and mind-blowing illusions. Find out the secrets behind some of the coolest magic tricks and become a real magician in the eyes of your friends. The bulb lights up right in your hands, without any wires or anything. How is that possible? To be the Lord of Light, you must first be the Lord of the Ring. We will need an opaque light bulb. Carefully take off the base using a knife and some pliers. We'll also need a metal base from an old incandescent light bulb. We will attach it to the opaque light bulb. Some additional supplies, two 3-volt batteries, an LED, and a couple of wires. We'll use a hot glue gun instead of a soldering iron. Connect everything as shown in the picture. Tape the two batteries together. Glue the long end of the LED to the positive plus side. Connect the other end of the LED to the side of the base with a wire. Connect the negative minus side of the battery to the bottom of the base with another wire. Put the base on the light bulb. Press the ring against the wall and the bottom of the base. This way we close the circuit and the LED shines right in our hands. A great way to impress your friends! Here's another simple trick. Pop balloons with a single touch. All you need is an orange peel. Rub it in into your finger and go on to impress your friends. The orange peel contains a substance that can dissolve rubber in seconds. That's why the balloons immediately pop. The world is full of magic. Do you have any doubts? Place a coin and a glass on the table. Cover the glass with a cloth and place it on top of the coin. Evanesco! The coin is gone. This is some Hogwarts level magic. Cover the glass again and lift it up a bit. The coin has suddenly reappeared. Intrigued? We'll tell you the secret behind this magical disappearance. Get a sheet of paper. Cut out a hole the size of the glass. Glue the sheet of paper to the glass. Now you know where all that money disappears. Some playing cards and some money. That's what we're going to need for our next trick. Wrap a dollar bill around a card, folding its edges on both sides. Turn the card face down and unfold the edges of the bill. The card ends up inside the bill. It looks like it's about to tear apart, but the bill stays intact. How? Cut the card in half. Tape one half to the back of the main card. This secret pocket is what allows the card to freely move inside the bill. Amazing! What do we have here? An ordinary matchbox? What's inside? Unsurprisingly, matches! Wait a minute, where did this coin come from? Place the coin between the box and the moving part. The coin will fall inside as soon as the box is closed. Open it again. Isn't it wonderful? Don't take away the matches just yet. We've got a few more tricks up our sleeve. Take a match and light it up. Blow explicitly on the box and the match goes out. Do it one more time, and again the match goes out by itself. The trick is to snap your fingers just at the right moment on the match head to make the flame go out. Make a lot of noise while blowing to distract the audience. If the previous trick didn't work, we've got a trick that works every time. Take five matches out of the box and crack each of them in the middle. Position them in a star formation and put a drop of water in the center. The star slowly opens up. The secret is that the water droplets lift up the ends of the matches and they will slowly drift apart. Have you heard of static electricity? Let's see it in action. Inflate a balloon. Give it a good rub with a cloth. Get the balloon near a small water stream. Look how the stream bends. And just like that, the water is flowing at an angle. We can also see the effects of static electricity in another trick. Take half of a match, attach a string to it and tape it to the bottom of a glass. Turn the glass upside down. Rub a plastic tube with a woolen cloth and bring it near the glass. The match starts to dance and follow the tube. Now take a metal can and again rub the tube. Look! The can is rolling towards the tube. A cool trick for entertaining your friends. We have yet another way to impress your friends. Take an elastic band and pull it through a ring. Stretch the band and look! The ring starts to go up. How is it possible? 
Let's show you the secret. We've stretched the band and attached the longer end in our hand. Now we need to seamlessly let the band slip from our fingers. Like this. The band shrinks and pulls the ring along with it. For our next trick, draw some flowers on colored paper. Try to make the core into a perfect circle as best as you can. Cut out the petals and gently fold them in. Fill a big plate with water and place the flowers on top. The flowers start to blossom right in front of our eyes. This happens because the paper starts to straighten out as it gets wet. Simple, but beautiful. For the next trick, we'll need some water, a candle, a few matches, and an empty glass. We've added some food coloring to enhance the effect. Pour the water on a plate. Stick the matches in the candle, then place it in the center of the plate. Light the matches on fire and cover with an empty glass. The water gets sucked up inside the glass and the candle rises. Cool! This happens because the air inside the glass heats up and expands. And when the flame goes out, the air cools down and shrinks, creating a vacuum that sucks in the water. Simple physics! Let's make a prop for another trick. We'll need a transparent plastic cup for this one. Using an awl, make two tiny holes in the walls of the cup. Pull a string through them. Secure it with some hot glue. Decorate the cup with some colored paper to conceal our crafty modifications. Insert a hook into a bright and thick lace or rope. Pour some liquid in the cup. Lower the rope into the cup, trying to catch the string with the hook. Pull on the rope and lift up the cup. Rope levitation in action! Reveal the secret to your friends so that they know what got them fooled. Prank your candy-loving friend with this fun trick. Stick the candy to the plate with some double-sided tape. Call your friend to come take a look at this cool new trick you've just learned. Cover the plate with the candy with a second identical plate. Utter the magic abracadabra and turn the plate an odd number of turns. Lift up the plate and the candy's gone. Where did they go? Test your sleight of hand. Are you ready to be impressed? Fold an elastic band in half and put it on the index and middle fingers of your left hand. With a fake move, closing your hand into a fist, seamlessly pull the band onto your palm and put four fingers through it. Release the hand and the band jumps to your pinky and ring finger. Try experimenting with two bands to enhance the effect. Writing with a pen is so old school. Take your pen, put it in a paper cone, and crumble it up into a ball. How is that possible? Let's make the body of the pen out of a plastic straw. Add the other standard pen parts. Done! An easy way to achieve an unexpected effect. An exit wound on the hand? This is not for the faint of heart. Print out two copies of a book page. Draw a circle using a compass on one of them. Cut it out. Draw the bloody contours of the wound with markers. Dip your finger in acrylic paint and put a round red smudge on your palm. Glue the paper circle onto the hand. Position the hand on the page with the text. Now that looks creepy. Optical illusions are so marvelous and hypnotizing. Let's make a 3D cube illusion, which will make you question your own eyes. We'll need three sheets of paper with a black and white chessboard pattern. You can print out a template or just fill in the pattern on some notebook sheets. Draw a frame with a dark marker. Join the sheets together with some tape and make a cube so that the pattern is on its inner side. Let's make the handle out of a toilet paper roll. Cut off its edge and glue it to the corner of the cube. Glue the base to a dark piece of thick cardboard. Move the cardboard around, showing the audience the inside of the cube. And the cube looks like it's floating in mid-air. A hypnotizing sight! A string that grew into your skin? An unfortunate side effect of a spell gone wrong. Pull on the end of the string. The string goes through the skin, but there is no wound. This is strange. Are you sure you're okay? It looks kind of creepy. For this trick, we're going to need some white glue and a string. Apply a strip of white glue onto your wrist. Put the string on the glue. Bend your wrist and drop the string into the formed groove. 
and the insertion of the string under the skin went successfully. Don't forget to creep out your friends with your new trick. Impress your friends with this easy yet amazing trick with a flying lemon. It just floats in your hands. How is that possible? There's a little trick involved. Cut out an opening in the lemon. Put your thumb inside. And with a slight movement of your hand, make the lemon dance around as if it was floating. It's kind of hard to tell at first. Subscribe to Troom Troom Select. Hit the like button and don't forget to press on the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video.